Welcome to Being Classy. In this video, we are talking about Quiz Is. Quiz Is is a digital app that allows you to pick or create your own quiz. Here are some of my favorite features with quizzes. You can conduct live competitive games. You can assign fun quiz games for students to complete on their own as homework or solo assignment. And you can gather detailed data to help inform your instruction. So let's get started. You're gonna wanna navigate to quizzes.com on any web browser. Navigate to the right-hand corner of your screen and click sign up or log in. Once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to choose your role as a teacher and then connect to an organization. If you don't see your organization listed or school listed, go ahead and just click not connected to a school. If you do that, it'll prompt you to choose the grade level that you'd like to teach and even the subject areas. This will help create content that is specific to what you are teaching. Once you've selected a few areas, go ahead and click next. You then will be on the quiz is home screen. Once you are here, you can either search for a quiz that has already been created or you can create your own. To search for an already existing quizzes, you can go ahead and type any topic into the search menu. You can then find quizzes and see their popularity by scrolling through the list. You can see how many times a quiz has been played, see how long it's been there, and even click and review the questions for that quizzes on the right hand corner of your screen. If it's a quiz that will work for you, go ahead and click on that quiz. If you'd like to use that quiz as it is, you can go ahead and play live, assign as homework, or assign as solo practice. But if you'd like to make some edits to the quiz, go ahead and click the edit button. This will then be creating a duplicate copy of the quizzes, which will then be stored in your content. It's prompting me to add another question to the quiz. I can go ahead and cancel that feature and review the questions that are there. These questions look relatively perfect. So uh, before I assign the question and finish the quiz, maybe I would want to change the timing of some of the questions. You can do that by clicking the edit button on the question, making sure the answers are right, the question is clear, changing the seconds if you'd like. I usually try to set mine to two minutes and you can even tag some standards here. Once you're satisfied with your question, go ahead and click save. Your quiz is now ready to be finished. Go ahead and navigate to the right hand corner of your screen and click finish quiz. It'll then prompt you to tag relevant content areas that are related to this quiz and click save. Now, if you're working with another educator who would benefit from this quiz, you can go ahead and share this quiz with them via email or skip this step for now. You are now ready to assign the quiz to your students. If you'd like to play this game live, meaning all students will be completing and competing in the game at the same time, you can go ahead and click play live. If you'd like to assign it as homework, click assign as homework, or if you'd like to assign it to just an individual student, go ahead and click solo practice. We're gonna play this game live and in classic mode. Once you've clicked host game, this will appear for your students to join the game. So they can open any device and open to joinmyquiz.com. If they're on a mobile device, they can download the application Quiz Is, Q-U-I-Z-I-Z-Z. -Z -Z. Then they'll be prompted to enter a game code and you will see students joining your room. Once all students are in the waiting room, you can begin by pressing start. This is what the teacher dashboard will look like as students are completing the questions. When you're ready to end the game, you can go ahead and click end game. You will then get a detailed analysis of the student's place. You can look at class accuracy, toughest question, longest question, and interesting facts. 
I hope this helped you gain a little bit more knowledge on how to use quizzes, either in the live classroom, assign it to students as homework, or create solo independent practice. It's a great way to conduct some formative assessments with students in a fun and engaging manner. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to check out our other videos. Let's stay positive, pursue the moment, and help somebody.